summer travels. I'm currently at the train station. We're on our way from Florence to Cinque Terre. I absolutely love Cinque Terre. This is my second time visiting. I needed to bring my boyfriend here because it's just so beautiful. While I'm waiting here, I figured I'd talk about a little bit of a travel hack and that is a VPN provider. I'm using Surfshark. Surfshark is also the sponsor of today's video, but I've been using them all throughout while I'm traveling because it's really important to use a VPN provider for two reasons. Let me explain and I'll walk you through it. But basically a VPN VPN changes your IP address. Your IP address allows companies to track personal information about you, but also it allows them to figure out where you are in the world. So by changing that IP address, you add some anonymity, anonymity, is that a word? I think it is, to your online activities, but you can also trick it into thinking you're at a different location than you actually are. And the reason that's key for me is because I trick my phone into thinking I'm in the United States so I can have access to all of the HBO Max, Netflix, Netflix, all of the content from back home even though I'm not there. I found out the hard way that HBO Max is not available in Italy yet. Here, let me show you. So right now I'm not connected to a VPN. This is a Surfshark app. You can also use Surfshark on your computer but I'm just, I'm very mobile right now so I've been using it on my phone a lot. Right now I'm not connected to anything. If I go to my HBO Max app, it's not going to load. It's just going to give me the screen because right now I'm in a place where HBO Max is not available and it's going to just keep this loading screen forever. We can be here for a while. Back to my Surfshark app. Here in locations, you can pick anywhere in the world to connect to. You can pretend that you're in Germany, in Taiwan, in Japan, in Spain, wherever. But I usually pick one of the United States ones. So I click Miami, gonna wait for it to connect. And there it goes, it's connected. It says protected, your connection is safe. Shout out to Surfshark. And so now all of the apps and websites I go to on my phone think I'm in the United States. When we go into HBO Max, it actually loads. I can watch all of the HBO Max content that I would be able to watch in the United States. It's been so helpful, especially on these like two hour, three hour, four hour train rides, so I can watch something that I'd be able to watch back home. It's definitely one of those travel must haves. It makes things so much easier. If you're also traveling soon, you need Surfshark. You can use code Marcella for 83% off plus three extra months for free. They offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So try it out for 30 days. Let me know how you like it and how it works for you. I am gonna go watch Friends now and I'll see you when we're in Chick Terry. morning. I am currently in Cinque Terre. It is this beautiful set of villages on the eastern or the western Italian coast. It's beautiful. Having the time of my life on this trip, it's honestly pretty unbelievable to me still, but it's been a good time. Before this, we were in Florence. We walked around, explored, we had some wine that we bought in Montepulciano, and we took the wine and did like a walking wine tour of Florence where we go sit on various spots along the Arno, have some wine and enjoy the sunset. It was actually a lot of fun so we did that while we were in Florence. I wanted to tell you about yesterday. We went to explore the next town over which is like the very scenic iconic town. It's called Manarola. We're staying in Cornelia. This one's my favorite. It's like small and cute and quaint and this is where I stayed last time. I love this town and then we also went to the beach town called Monterosso al Mare and there's a beach, this like long beach and we spent pretty much the whole day on the beach. We had a lot of beach chairs and we just were able to rent them for 10 euros a person. That was really nice. I don't know what we're gonna get up to today, but we're gonna just hang out. Maybe we'll go to the beach. We're currently doing laundry because we haven't had a laundry machine. Oh my God, I got myself dirty again. What is wrong with me? That's really all you've missed though. The top that I'm wearing, I got in Montepulciano. If you watched my vlog, you already know. That's kind of the vibe. We're doing laundry. We're gonna go get breakfast. Forgot to mention that we're staying in this cute little Airbnb. Let me show you the view. Look at how cute. Ignore our mess. Then look at our view. I legitimately never do my hair and I don't know how long I'll keep this on too because I don't know it always feels like I'm trying to do too much but maybe that's the vibe. The glamorous life of traveling long term especially in Italy a lot of places don't have drying machines or I'm sure if we stayed at some luxurious hotels or something we could figure it out but we're traveling on a budget so our Airbnb has a washing machine but no dryer so here we are. At least they have this gorgeous hair. So much better. Everybody knows. Talking about a party that was so long. So long gone. But there's a new. I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna cover 
up. Bringing this cute baby blue swimsuit from Paxson. I got it a little while ago. Good. See you guys later. We were just about ready to go to the beach. And I remember I have to do like a sponsored segment and send it for approval today. So we're still here. It's now 12.30. I'm editing the sponsored segment and I'll send it for approval. But yeah, it's been really hard managing YouTube. I haven't gotten a video up in like a week and a half. My laptop won't charge and it needs 12% to upload the sponsored segment. And I need to send a sponsored segment today. I hope it uploads while I'm away. Look at this cute chandelier. All of these steps, we're going all the way down there. I forgot to bring my hats, I'm using my dress. I burned my scalp in Rome, so I'm not doing it again. Came to the same beach umbrellas as yesterday, but we came a little late, so it's packed. I'm gonna change back here first, there's like no one around, and then we're gonna move it up. I've got an umbrella, and I got some of this. There are so many people here today, but I guess it is Friday. We'll be here for the next... How long are we staying? TTYL. We're gonna go to the water soon I am just now getting ready for dinner. I am wearing this blue Princess Polly dress. The shoulder, super flattering, super comfortable, super stretchy, and just like easy to be in. I also am wearing these cute little earrings, and I am gonna just pair all of this with my white Reeboks for comfort. I'm gonna explore a new town. Um, it's in between the one we were just at and where we're staying. It's called Bernazza. And I forgot to mention this little diamond bracelet that my parents got me. having some breakfast and then we're gonna take the train to go visit my uncles. Mark is gonna meet them for the first time which is kind of funny but yeah. talk a little bit about like the train system. I highly recommend coming to Italy and then just using the train system to get around. It's actually super easy to navigate and pretty affordable. For example, a ticket from 
Rome to Florence will run you like, I don't know, maybe 20 euros a person or something. The trains are pretty comfortable. Most of them are AC. The train system will get you to most cities. And if you are gonna do it, I think the biggest tip is to book in advance. We booked most of our trains in advance. It's kind of like airline tickets. They get higher as it gets closer to the date. And then the other thing I recommend is packing light. And we are traveling with just a carry-on and a backpack each. Please stand behind the other line. 